Hey guys, this is Ed and I'm here with a new video. Um, this one's going to be slightly different to a lot of the videos I've done so far on this channel. Today I just want to go through um, one of my favourite portable gaming systems that I've, I've been playing with, the PlayStation Vita. Um, I'm just going to go through uh, my top five games that I really like playing on this. Stay tuned and hopefully you enjoy this video. So number one is Tearaway, um, pretty well known game for having a lot of, uh, winning a lot of awards and being really interesting. It just works really nicely on the feeder, it makes use of the touch screen, um, makes use of the camera, just a really quirky story, very cute, very engaging. It's quite a short game, um, but you can play it many times to try and get the um, maximum score. So. This game was really, really cute. Um, really enjoyed playing this one, so highly recommend. Um, if you haven't played this, I think it's on the PlayStation 4 as well now, definitely recommend. The next game that I want to recommend or I really enjoy playing is Freedom Wars. It's kind of like a Monster Hunter type game, although it's got its own mechanics, so it's um, got a really interesting story where you're in the future, it's another dystopian future where you're in prison and every time you do something wrong you get more years added to your sentence. The only way you can remove years from your prison sentence is if you battle large monsters or robots um, or enemies from other cities that keep attacking your city. So this was very cool. I really enjoyed playing this. The story is pretty funny. Um, it's a little bit slow going in paces, places and some of the um, some of the control schemes don't always work, like it's easier when you're fighting bigger monsters than when you're fighting smaller enemies, but um, Freedom Wars, very cool. I think this is one of the last big AAA releases that have come out from um, on the Vita, but um, yeah, this one's very cool. Okay, my next game, uh, number three, really like this game, one of the first ones of its type, I guess, that I've played. And this is Tricker Happy Danganronpa, um, which is, um, I think they call it an interactive novel. It's one of those type of games. So it's more, you have to go through each chapter and you have to figure out puzzles or kind of under, like um, pay attention to what's going on, the details, and then you go into a um, kind of a dynamic where you've got to then identify facts from, from lies. Um, this is all about you're trapped in a school, if you haven't heard of this game before, you're trapped in a school for some reason and there's murders going on and you have to figure out who the murderer is each time. Um, I don't want to go into it too much more, I guess have a look around on YouTube, it's a very cool story, I really liked it. Um, I do have the second one, I just haven't gotten around to playing it through yet, so I'm waiting to um, get some time to play this one. Um, this one, I probably spent maybe 10 hours or so probably on, on this one. Yeah, really enjoyed it. So trigger happy. Okay, two more to go. So, The Wolf Among Us. So this game, The Wolf Among Us, I didn't know anything about this game when I picked it up. Um, apart from it had good reviews obviously and I didn't realise it was based on a comic. I didn't realise it was based on a, a DC Comics, Vertigo Comics um, series. And it's all about a lot of um, nursery rhyme or fable type characters like Big Bad Wolf for example or Snow White or other characters like that that live in the modern world. But there's been a murder um, and you play as the big bad wolf who is a detective and you um, go through and, and figure out who's behind the murder um, and it's it's a bit like um, it's a bit like The Walking Dead on PlayStation 3 um, which means that it's uh, a lot of quick time events and whichever decision you make affects the story in some way. I do think it was a really interesting and fun experience. I really like this one. This is possibly my favourite. The only thing that's holding it back is the fact that there's a lack of replayability there. In fact, I went to a local bookshop um, near me and they actually had one of the um, one of the Fables comics. 
which are which I picked up to see how similar the game is to the source material and um, I really liked it. I'm, I'm tempted to find more of these comics if, uh, if they're available um, because the story is so interesting. So really, really, really like The Wolf Among Us. Yeah, definitely recommend that. Okay, and number five. So this is my latest purchase, um, which actually triggered me making this video because um, I've already sunk in like three or four hours into this already. And it is Dragon's Crown. So this is an Atlas game. It's um, a mixture, I guess, of a side-scrolling beat-em-up with some RPG elements where you, you grind and you get more experience points and you can select um, different skills to make a character better. You can pick different characters at the start. But it's, um, it's really fun. Um, the graphics are beautiful on the beta. Um, I have heard that it suffers a little bit of slowdown now and again compared to the PS3 version. I don't have a PS3 version. But um, yeah, this is a really cool game and this is the one that's currently in my in my Vita and one I'm, I'm playing a lot when I'm on the go. So Dragon's Crown. So that's that's another really cool one that I really like playing. Um, worthy runners up, I would say I've got you're gonna kill me for this, but FIFA 2013. Killzone Mercenary um, is a fantastic first person shooter. Need for Speed Most Wanted, uh, Rayman Legends, Rayman looks beautiful on the Vita. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, which is a little bit like um, Super Smash Bros. Doesn't play as well as Super Smash Bros. But still, still is kind of cool. Final Fantasy, that's pretty fun. Little Big Planet, still really cool on the Vita actually. This one's really good. Touch My Katamari, I don't have the real case for that. What else have I got? Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, pretty good fighter. And then Sly Trilogy. Never had the original Sly game, so this is the first time I was playing these. If you enjoyed this video, um, consider giving it a like or putting a comment down below. I'd love to hear what beta games are your favourites and if you want to keep in touch, why not um, consider subscribing. Alright, catch you later. Bye.